right? <laughs> Eat the butter yeah, in your stomach, fine. you'll fluster. Uh, so, did all you guys do the, I'm guessing all you guys did the challenge with Greg? Yeah. Is that right? And how'd that go? Good. Good? Cool. Dude, it was hard. Did you guys see good results? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Why did you guys do the challenge? Why are you guys trying to get in shape? Why are you guys trying to eat better? Well, to be healthy. To be healthy? Yeah. Yeah, have more energy, endurance. Yeah. What does healthy mean? Um, just, you know, that you are where you should be. Uh -huh. Where when you're walking up stairs, you're not panting, you can run around and chase the kids and have a good time. Right. Uh, getting the proper rest at night, you know, okay. everything that your body needs. Right, that's a good answer. That's a really good answer. What does healthy mean to you? Me? Yeah. Uh, to have more endurance, uh, to live better, mm -hmm. to eat better. And why do you want to live better? To see my children grow. Why do you want to see your children grow? <laughs> live a long, healthy life, to see them yeah, yeah, yeah. prosper. you love your children, right? Yes. So, are you really doing this challenge to be healthy, or are you doing it for your children? Are you trying to get better endurance just to have endurance, or is there a reason a little bit deeper than that? Uh, the big thing with diet, exercise, any kind of habit, is you have to have a reason that you do these things, right? Uh, so me, I lost 100 pounds. When I graduated wow. high school, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, when I graduated high school, I weighed 273 pounds. And I was, I played sports and stuff like that. But despite that fact, I just was always a big kid, and I kind of thought this is how it was, right? So I thought like, you know, I'm just genetically chubby or whatever. Um, graduated high school, and throughout high school, like, of course, like you, you start meeting girls and stuff like that. And you, there were times where I wanted to get in shape, right? I wanted to lose the weight. But I uh, would go like two weeks and then I'd fall off. You know, I'd try to eat better, whatever better me or meant at the time. And I just quit, right? Uh, until I graduated high school and like every great story ever, I met a girl, right? So this girl's name is Nikki. My name is Nick. Match made in heaven, right? <laughs> yeah. um, so I started hanging out with her a lot and Got pretty close to her and I told her, I was like, hey, you know, let's, let's be a thing. I want, I want to date you. I want to go out, blah, blah, blah. And she was like, yeah, that can happen. Uh, so <laughs> it gave me like a really bad feeling. And that's what caused me to lose weight, right? So I started working out and everything I did, every exercise, every workout, every meal was with her in mind. Um, and as things started going, it became less about her and more about me. And I started looking back on it. And it's really easy to think that at the time, my why, right, was to impress this girl. Once I started thinking about it, taking it a little bit deeper, it really wasn't. My why was I didn't ever want to feel rejected again. Whenever she told me no, I wanted her more than anything I wanted on the planet. And not being able to have that, that hurt more than anything. So my why was not a girl. Uh, my why was I didn't want to feel that feeling ever again. And each one of you all have a why. It is be healthy, it is have better endurance, have better energy, live a better life but it's not, it's really good, that doesn't mean anything, right? You have to take things a little bit deeper. So for you, after we ask like four, five, six questions, you wanna do it for your kids. So is it be healthy? Yeah, is it be healthy? No, not at all. Uh, you have to find your why. And the reason you have to find your why is because this stuff is not easy. Nothing in life is easy. And what is your favorite thing in life? Is it a boyfriend, girlfriend, is it a hobby? My son. Your son, okay. Uh, now. That's your most favorite thing, the most important thing to you, right? Are there times that your son aggravates you, pisses you off, makes you angry, disappoints you? Uh, any of those things? Yeah. And you guys fight all, whatever your favorite thing is, those things still happen, right? The, the very best thing in your life still has its crap moments, right? It's not all sunshine and roses. Nutrition and exercise, it's the exact same way. It's not gonna be easy. So that's why you have to find a why, something really, really tangible, something you can really hold on to. That way when things get tough, you don't just fall off the wagon like I did so many times. When you guys probably done the same thing. You started to eat right, you started to exercise, you've fallen off a couple weeks later. The reason being is you have to find something actually important to you. Maybe it is your kids. Maybe you just want to get a six pack to impress a boy or a girl, or maybe it's an ego thing. Like the thing about the why is there's no wrong or right why, okay? Uh, a lot of people think that, like, I ask questions. And sometimes, you know, I have, I have a client, and whenever I got down to her why, her and her husband were not as intimate as she wanted to be. And that's really what it was. She just wanted to make her husband want her again, and that's okay. And a lot of people think it shouldn't be like that, right? Like, it should be something higher, something better. 
It doesn't have to be. The only wrong block is one that is honest, one that is real. So the only thing I'm going to leave you guys with today is to really think about your why. Think about what actually matters and actually dig into that stuff. Because if you don't, you're not going to see results long term, period. You have to find why you're doing what you're doing. Does that make sense?